Okay. Well, let me ask you this. If you couldn't be doing the radio right now, name one job. You can have active. any job. I'd be an actor. An actor? Have you ever tried to go into that? Yeah, I, I took some uh, TV. I took TV acting classes when I was in school. Uh, I worked with the CW for like three and a, three and a half years. I didn't, okay. That was more TV work. Like I was an anchor. I shot segments. So I don't. I love being in front of the camera. So okay. if I could do anything else other than this, I'd be an actor. That was my dream for a long time. Another quick question. If you had to hustle anybody, I'm not down to your hustle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You Any mogul in the game right now, which mogul? Jay-Z. Jay-Z. My idol. I yeah. love Jay. My favorite rapper. <laughs> my favorite rapper. I'm an East Coast boy. Don't hold yeah. it against me, but Jay all the way. What Jay yeah. has accomplished, and he's done it his way, just with Jay, he's, he's astounding. Definitely. Jay-Z is a... Shout out to Jay-Z. For <laughs> sure. For sure. Um, now... One, one of the last questions we're gonna ask you. How about them Cowboys? Um, you know, um, I feel like a lot of people right now are having like, they're torn with the whole Cowboys, especially if you're all about the kneeling movement mm. because of what Dak came out and said, yeah. which he's entitled to his opinion. Mm. Just because he's black doesn't mean he has to think like every other black person much. I right. really believe that. But I also feel like he didn't need to go out of his way to In make that to statement right them. now, especially after Jerry came out of his way to like what the boys are gonna have toe on line. That's what I, you know what I'm saying. So I feel like cowboy fans are torn right now because of that situation. Um, I, I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm a Steeler fan. Everybody knows that about me. I'm a Pittsburgh Steeler fan. But I've been here eight years. I love the city. I love the people. And I've grown to love the Cowboys in a certain way. They will grow on. They do. They grow on. <laughs> just like the Steelers did. I'm originally from New York. I lived in Pittsburgh so long. The Steelers grew up. So yes, they're my favorite team. But I cheer for the boys. Unless they're playing this <laughs> So, I gotta keep them on high. I can't be like, there you go. You know, I, I cheer. I mean, Nike sent me to the uh, Frisco facility. I've been in the locker rooms. Like, yeah, I meet, the, the, I meet yeah. the players. You know, so I got I got a connection to them. Yeah. So, I will cheer for them. All right. Unless All right. We got them both. playing the black and gold. <laughs> All right. Last thing. And I don't know if you see these colors. They're black. Ooh, but anyway, that's more like they, the Saints colors. It, but anyway, yeah, you, you, yeah. You, you, but we gonna we gonna leave it. <laughs> um, last thing for the kids chasing their dreams right now, wanting to be sleepless, wanting to get their goals intact, and know, you know, what they need in life, the tools that they need in order to make it to the next level in whatever they do. Yeah. What's some advice you give? My advice is this: okay? go after whatever you're seeking. Right, go after it and give it the best effort you can get. You might not get exactly what you're looking for because that's life. But I guarantee you'll be in the ballpark of what your ultimate goal was. For instance, you want to be a rapper, right? The rapping doesn't work out, but you end up a producer. You end up a writer. You end up working in the studio making music, whatever. It's not the ultimate goal you had. Like my ultimate goal is to be a rapper. But because of rap, I ended up in radio. And you might have landed in more. Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? What I'm saying is if you fully chase something with all of your might and you give it all you have, life doesn't always plan out how you want it. But I guarantee you'll get something out of that effort. You will land somewhere, somewhere in that vicinity. You know what I mean? If you're trying to get in the music industry in a certain way, you're not going to end up a banker. Right. There's no way you're gonna end up somewhere. Maybe you're, you're a promotional person. Maybe you're a CEO of this. Maybe you're this. You're that. Follow that dream. It might not. Everybody's not cut out for certain things, but you'll definitely end up in the vicinity of what your original dream was. I promise you. All right. Hey, you have it right there. Do not sleep on J. Cruz. This is sleepless. You see what time it is. We gotta put on for the city. One time. Like this. Boy J. Cruz, man, 97 down the beat. It's what we do. Just get that new sleepless shirt with the city, Dallas City outline on the bottom. This is fresh. We fresh, you fresh, we cruising.